Uh, the same thing with the ARs. You know, the soldiers are coming home from Afghanistan and Iraq, very familiar with the M16 type weapons. They want to take the semi autos out in the woods with them. What do you think about this trend? You think they're suited for deer hunting, you think, and predator hunting and such things, you think that'll continue to expand? I think they are, uh, but I'm old-fashioned. I mean, it's all <laughs> about the caliber, you know, you, yeah. you have to hit them with something that's going to take them down so there's there's no suffering. And, uh, I'm, a, I'm a, one of those old-fashioned guys, I like a good sharp knife and I like a gun that'll uh, that has uh, that has wood on it, mm -hmm. and I'm the black guns. You know, the young people can have the black guns. It's that <laughs> era for them. You know, I when I shoot uh, in competition, I, I I shoot the old vintage military okay. rifles. I like the Garand, and I, I I also shoot the M14, mm -hmm. and I have both match condition and shelf, so I can shoot. Uh, I can shoot in any of the matches, and I also have a, a real fancy, uh, very expensive gun that's made for nothing more than shooting that, that black piece, that black around. bullseye yep. on that target 600 yards away, you know? Yep. But hunting, you know, whatever these guys feel comfortable uh, with, I, I don't really care that much for semi-automatic -auto weapons when I hunt. I like a, uh, either a bolt action or a single shot. And it's basic, basically the only reason is to, to make it a sport. Sure. Instead of just going up and killing a beast. Hurrah! Simplified do or die. Hold them high at eighth and I. Hurrah!